Hi friends, this is Esther, Faculty of English. Today is, uh, let us discuss about Srinivas Ramanujan, his introduction and childhood and also early life uh, and education, research and conclusion. Let us discuss about Srinivas Ramanujan. Srinivas Ramanujan, a poor and educated Indian, was one of the greatest and most unusual mathematical geniuses who ever lived uh, was born on 22nd december in 1887 in u road in tamil nadu he grew up in kumbakonam where his father he uh, k uh, srinivasa ayanga worked as an accountant in a sari shop his mother kamal uh, amal uh, kamalathar amal was a housewife and also sang uh, songs at a local temple his childhood srinivasa ramanujan started his schooling in 1892 uh, he did not like uh, school uh, though he completed high school and tried twice to obtain a college education but he failed both times because uh, he was so uh, obsessed by mathematics uh, that he simply could not spend any time on other subjects he started excelling in mathematics he came to think of his results as a source of his incredible outpouring of mathematics his early life in 1909 when ramanujan was 22 years old he married 9 years old janaki and took a clerical position in madras support trust office to support her and his mother who lived with them while working as a clerk ramanujan continued to pour out math results and wrapping papers in the office he was tied up with mathematics in such a way that he forgot even to eat his wife and his mother used to feed him at meal time so that he would continue writing while he ate uh, his education research fortunately both the um, uh, chairman and manager of madras support trust office were engineers who recognized his his extraordinary mathematical talent they urged him to send his results to english um, mathematics he wrote to h f baker and e w hubson of cambridge university both returned his letters without comment right uh, then on uh, 16th june uh, 1913 he wrote to g h hardy he invited ramanujan to come to england to study with him ramanujan accepted his invitation and arrived at trinity college in april 1914 hardy characterizes ramanujan as a very great great mathematician full of paradoxes who defies all judgment ramanujan worked very hard in collaboration with j h hardy right he used to work 24 of uh, 36 hours at a stretch uh, uh, and collapse and sleep for 12 hours or more at a time as he was a vegetarian it was difficult for him for food in england it resulted that he was affected by mysterious illness that might be vitamin b2 deficiency caused by his uh, poor diet and uh, he returned to india in 1900 19 he died a year later at the age of 32 okay uh, ramanujan left behind three notebooks uh, which uh, he wrote before coming to england and which are filled with uh, as many as uh, 4000 results jh uh, hardy showed a, a colleague of his ramanujan's uh, strange letter which was uh, crammed with as many as 60 mathematical theorems uh, and formulas stated without any proofs he made a significant contribution to mathematical analysis number theory and continued fractions he is a great indian mathematician right he srinivas ramanujan actually he is a, a poor uneducated indian uh, was one of the greatest and most unusual mathematical genius who ever lived uh, already he was born on 22nd of december in 1887 in u road in tamil nadu he grew up in kumbakonam where his father ke srinivas ayengar was worked as an accountant in a sari shop his mother kamala uh, kamalathar amal was a housewife and also sang songs at a local temple his childhood srinivas ramanujan started 
uh, schooling in 1892 uh, he died he did not like school though he completed high school and tried twice to obtain a college education but he failed both times because he was so obsessed by mathematics that he simply could not spend any time on their subjects he started excelling in mathematics he came to think of his result at the source of this his incredible outpouring of mathematics in 19 in at nine, when Ramanujan was 22 years old, he married nine years old Janaka and took a clerical position in Madras Portrest office to support her and his mother who lived with them uh, while working as a clerk. Ramanujan continued to pour out math, uh, math results and wrapping paper in the office. He was tied up with mathematics in such a way that he forgot uh, even to eat. Uh, even to eat, his wife and his mother used to feed him at meal times uh, so that he would continue writing while he ate okay his education and research fortunately both the chairman and manager of madras port office uh, port trust office were engineers uh, who recognized his extraordinary mathematical talent they urged him to send his results to english mathematics he wrote to hf baker and uh, ew herbson of cambridge university both returned his letters without comment then on 16th June 1913 he wrote to G.H. Hardy he invited Ramanujan to come to England to study with him Ramanujan accepted his invitation and arrived at Trinity College in April 1914 Hardy uh, characterizes Ramanujan as a very great mathematician full of uh, paradoxes uh, who defies uh, all judgment Ramanujan worked very hard in collaboration right with G.H. Hardy, right? He used to work 24 to 36 hours at a stretch and collapse and sleep for 12 hours or more at a time. As he was a vegetarian, it was difficult for him for food in England. It resulted that he was affected by mysterious illness that might be vitamin B2 deficiency caused by his poor diet. He returned to India in 1919. Uh, he died a, a year later uh, at the age of 32. His uh, Ramanujan left behind uh, three notebooks which he wrote before coming to England and which are filled with as many as 4,000 results. G.H. Hardy showed a co uh, colleague of his Ramanujan's uh, strange letter which has uh, crammed with uh, many as uh, 60 mathematical theorems and formulas started without any proof, stated without any proof. He made a significant contribution to mathematical analysis, number theory and continued fractions. So, this is the story, this is the biography of Srinivasa Ramanujan, a great Indian mathematician. Okay, students, I will upload these videos to you. I will upload these videos to you. I will upload these videos to you. I will explain these videos to you. Okay, thank you so much.